So the behavior change and transformation that organizations are looking for from these upskilling programs will only happen if the learning behind them can support real capability development. It's important to recognize content does not lead to learning on its own. Consumption does will not lead to mastery of a skill on its own. And a skill doesn't equal a capability. Rather, a capability requires the learner can take that knowledge and the skills acquired and actually be able to apply it to their work. So as a new manager, if you watch a video and maybe pass an e-learning quiz on how to handle a difficult conversation with your team, does that really mean you can effectively have that conversation uh, the first time? Well, no, probably the first time you try that, it's not gonna go so great. But if you actually practice, you get feedback, you see examples from others handling those conversations, you actually begin to turn that into a capability that you can really apply in your in your work as a manager. So no one, we believe that cohort learning can combine these elements to a learning experience that develop capabilities to drive behavior change. Yeah, let's see, let's look at how we think of technology enabling such a transformative experience. Um, since our inception, we have been focused in that first column you see here, the creation and delivery of high impact learning experiences. As uh, Mike explained in that fourth wave of um, online learning and capability development, um, a great experience, a high impact learning experience is created um, with content that is relevant and weaved with peer learning moments, practice and application, opportunities for feedback and collaboration. And um, it creates the ideal um, conditions for developing capabilities. Our product um, has only advanced over the years in this area. And we're gonna spend a little bit of time further, uh, f uh, 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 further in the talk uh, to share with you what, are, what do these components look like in action. Uh, we have worked with so many LND teams and in the second wave, um, for, for, for the needs in your organization, you have purchased um, many different content libraries from LinkedIn Learning to How I Manage Mentor uh, to Skillsoft, many, many different um, a variety of content libraries. You have a content that's developed in e-learning um, and um, hosted on your LMS. Uh, one of the things that um, we would like to do uh, to, to help you with is put that content to work. Um, so uh, the platform, the technology helps you create a cohesive experience that brings that content in and then blends it in with other types and other moments of learning that we were just um, uh, talking about. Um, and um, we know it, um, um, no one wants to deal with um, CSS, HTML, JS, um, or dealing with even uh, complex um, uh, SCORM directives. Uh, so this is all done um, in a no code, um, essentially design and build their experience that you heard Sheldon mention a little bit of um, uh, how we make it possible to take content from one place and put it in another place and iterate um, essentially faster as agility is key in being able to address um, the learning needs of your organization. Um, let's go to the next one. Um, now, um, when you hear the word when, uh, uh, high impact learning, it may all uh, seem like an experience that will be um, intensive in terms of investment, in terms of labor to manage and run it. One of the, uh, one of, uh, one of the ways uh, that can be addressed and we work on addressing it is that technology brings efficiency um, to not only the creation of the experience, but also to the delivering of it. 